Good day. This 48th day, Meaningful Moments 365 Days. A meaningful moment came for me this morning and it was with fresh eyes that I looked upon a new day. And that meaningful moment has been very closely tied in with what often happens for me every time I've moved. And right at about the closing of where I'm currently residing, there's this moment or moments that happen where all of a sudden I enter a space that I remember seeing for the first time. So this morning, when I first opened my eyes and had that fresh look upon the day, it was one that was filled with so much, um, kind of all bundled up, joy, thankfulness, and this readiness to get to work. And that's very much part of the art of living. This feeling, perception, that we're creating life. And when we're doing that, we have these kinds of feelings. And you know, there are a lot of feelings along the way, but this freshness that we approach it with is what's so necessary. And it makes me think about a couple of different things. One was that, you know, that eagerness, when you're learning something new or when you've learned a lot of stuff and you're ready to kind of uh, roll it out and, and apply it and see how it works in your life, there was that piece of it. Um, there was that fresh look upon um, this beautiful being that lays next to me that opens his eyes around the same time that I do and we get to start the new day together. There's this freshness, like I said, that we're looking at different spaces that we pass by all the time, but there was one time when we noticed it for the first time. And I had a conversation yesterday with a friend who has a fairly newborn, and, um, you know, listening to the observations of him watching his son open his eyes to the new things, you know, what he's discovering and exploring. We've all had these different moments where we've tapped into what that fresh new eye looks like as it looks upon a new moment, a new experience, a new day. Um, if you have children, you know what it is to see through their eyes. I was speaking with my granddaughter the other day and I mentioned something about yoga, which I guess she does sometimes, that she pulled out her mat, and I said, hey, check this out, Leah, and I did a little pose, and it was like a downward dog, and my leg was up, and she came up to the camera really close with those fresh eyes, and she said, oh, wow, I'll try that. And just that statement, I'll try that, that's part of that freshness, that fresh, new, open eyes. And the first moment that I thought to talk about it on Meaningful Moments was a few days ago when we went out of our building and we're in a high rise so we have to travel down to a lower level which is underneath ground level and go out from underneath in really cold inclement weather. It's, a, it's a, like a grace because you get, you know, the, the wind chill and all that doesn't hit you and you can kind of cut across and into a lower area of a park to cross over to another uh, part of this neighborhood. And um, it was all such a new experience for me, all these different levels and things when we first came here. And that moment that I was walking up the ramp to go to the street level and cross through the park, I saw the entranceway and it was with those fresh eyes and it hit me like, I remember what this was like when I saw it for the first time, how intriguing it was for me, how fascinating it was for me. And then I had another experience where I was coming up the staircase in our building into the main lobby and we have a doorman that sits there and they have a little council area and it's a beautiful area, a lot of windows, 
the sun streams in from this direction, the east, <clears throat> and there's um, beautiful wooden oak staircases, and uh, the council that they sit around is like a little uh, wooden area as well, with all this beautiful marble and um, giant pillars, and I remember the first moment that I walked into that building, or into this building, that all of a sudden it was like, ah, oh, and there was something that sprang out of me with this fresh new eye that could just absorb all that beauty. And so thankful for these experiences because it keeps coming back to us and I know it's tucked and stored into my cellular memory. And so when I came up the stairs the other day, I turned and all of a sudden caught myself in one of those in-between places where I was there and here, but I could feel it in this in-between space of freshness. Back when I was teaching as a Waldorf teacher and educator, some of the lectures that I had read during my training by Rudolf Steiner reflected on you know, principles and ideas that teachers take into the classroom every day. And one of them was to look upon the students with fresh new eyes. And I worked about much of that part of my life every day with bringing new curriculum, new, new ideas, facilitating new opportunities to elicit those feelings of freshness for the children and to see them in that way. And then with my own children, it was the same. And you know, through the different challenges that we meet in life or the different ways that we become accustomed to um, a part of our life, the way we live it, being able to tap into those fresh moments are so deeply rewarding and like medicine, you know? So if you're, if you're going through the ills of some experience, um, of something that has changed and doesn't feel the way it once did, whether it is that you keep it in your life or you let it go, come into that in-between place of that fresh look, fresh new eyes upon a new situation is so key to healing, to moving on, to resilience, to strength, um, to everything that we need to meet what next comes. So looking upon this moment with fresh new eyes, upon all that next comes with a inner sense of peace and courage. And this is something that you, I, we all get to have and experience in some way. So bringing that fresh new eyes to you. Oh, hey.